Hello. Welcome once again. In this video, we will see how to add up game mode. The game mode defines the game's set of rules. The rules can include how players join the game, game pausing, and level transition, as well as any game-specific behavior, such as win conditions. The game mode is set for each level, and game modes can be reused in multiple levels. This video covers how to create a game mode blueprint, and set default values for it, how to assign a default game mode, for your game, and how to override the default game mode, through the world settings, and game mode override option. Now let's create a game mode blueprint. These steps will guide you in creating and setting up defaults for a game mode blueprint. We are using the blueprint third person template, however you can use any project you wish. In the content browser, click the add new button. Now select Blueprint class from the Create Basic Asset section of the drop-down menu. You can create several different types of Blueprint assets from the Blueprints option under Create Advanced Asset. Choose a parent class for your Blueprint asset. There are several different types of Blueprints that you can create. However, before doing so, you will need to specify the parent class in which the Blueprint will be based. Selecting a parent class allows you to inherit properties from the parent to use in the blueprint you are creating. In the Pick Parent Class window, select the Game Mode Base class. This is the parent class for all game modes. So create a new game mode. In a new blueprint class, when the Pick a Parent Class menu appears, select Game Mode Base and name your new game mode class BP underscore Game Mode. Double click BP underscore Game Mode to open its class defaults, then navigate to the Details Panel Classes category. Under the game mode are several options that you can set as the game's default settings, like default character, HUD, etc. You will need to create these separately, then specify them for use in the game mode blueprint in order to actually use them in your game. And for the default pawn class, select BP underscore player character. A character class is required for your player to control. BP player character is the pawn that comes with a character movement component to provide a locomotion system for humanoid characters to traverse through your world. Compile and save your blueprint. Now let's see the how to assigning a default game mode. Navigate to edit, and then project settings, and then maps and modes. And in the default modes category, select BP underscore game mode. Now that you have a character, that is a BP Palier character, that possesses the input functionality to move in your level, XO now play. So here we have compared the game mode which is the default, and the updated game mode with a character as a player in the third person template. Hope from this video, you will start to move into building in more advanced mechanics, in an easy to follow step by step approach, which will allow you to play around and build your own content, to eventually build your own game. Thanks, thanks a lot, see you in the next video.